everyone, this is Anne of Blooming Crafts. Ladies, I'm so excited to share with you these two notebooks that I authored for some friends. And you know, I love how they turn out. And I use regular notebooks that I found um, in my local stationery store in my country. And they look like these guys. Not that pretty, right? But what I love about these notebooks, they are recycled paper. So you know, it's craft paper inside. and these pages are like cream colors and the texture is like really smooth super smooth guys so I love it and I love the size too you know it's not too big and it's not too small I love these size of notebooks and so these are the two that I alter I'm gonna share you this one first so for this one I use the Melissa Francis C'est La Vie paper for um, this notebook and what I did guys I wrapped the notebook with these design paper and it's the little cupid see and before I wrap it around I punched along the edges top and bottom with the vintage doily punch love these punch guys it's just so pretty and I distress all the edges you know all the pages here too so the notebook look a little bit more shabby and I put distress ink, I mean the vintage photo distress ink um, on the pages. So it looks like that. And then I just use the big piece of lace to wrap around the notebook. You know, I just glue it on the cover here and wrap it around. And then go over it, you know, to the front. And so it makes the book a little bit more stronger too. That's what I love about it. And then... I just decorated it, you know, with um, little things here and there. Over here on the top, I glimmer misted these doily. This one with the blue glimmer mist and this one with um, the brow glimmer mist. Can't remember the exact colors, but um, I mean the exact names. But you know, I love how it, they turn out. Looks so pretty. And then over here, these are some stars that I made um, from clay. And I used Martha Stewart mold for these. So, you know, and I just hang these little pearl trim and these chipboard pieces from Maya Road that I put um, crackle paint on it. I'm not sure if you could see the cracks, but I used a tether rose crackle paint and I really love how it looks. And I just tied a little key to the lock, guys. And then over here, um, these are some butterflies that I made following um annie miss garden grove one hi annie thank you so much for the tutorial i didn't have the material you used to make your butterfly so what i did guys here you can do this too just die cut the butterfly out from cardstock and then fabric you know that you want to use then i just glue the fabric on top of the cardstock so the but butterflies um are a little bit stronger and you can just decorate them so i did these to my butterflies I really love them and the fabric I actually got from Annie as well. This fabric is so pretty Annie. Looks so shabby chic. And then over here, I die, I die cut these piece, um, you know, from the designer paper and um, the, uh, um, the chipboard. And then I just paste the designer paper on top of the chipboard. So, you know, it's a little bit um, stronger. And then I just fuzzy cut these little angels out from the paper collection. I love her, guys. She is just so cute. And I want her to look like um, she's holding this little star. Just so cute. And, you know, I made these little wings for her using um, white feathers. It looks so soft and delicate. I love it. So it looks like that. And on the top there, um, I just used some alphabet stickers and um, spell the word wish and I put diamond stickers on each letter so it looks like that and over here I fuzzy cut this little girl out as well guys and I love it that it looks like she's praying to the angel that's why I say that I put the word wish up there and I just decorated um, you know around her with some little trim and some flower center over here just looks so nice so that's the front cover guys i really love how it turned out and then on the back i mean on the inside it looks like this super simple i just um cover the back inside cover with some designer paper i did it to the back cover as well guys looks like that right and then over here i die cut these acetate out love it and i tinted it with 
the alcohol ink guys so it pops up a little bit more I really love um, how this look and you know I just decorated it with some trim, some pom-pom trim, little bow and all these um, pearls and some little butterfly and these um, lavender color butterflies it's from clay as well guys and you know I put stickers on it so it looks shiny like that I love diamond stickers I use it like all the time and also these is a little tag that I cut out from the paper collection and I just punch the top and bottom there and tie a little piece of lace here you know so um, I can write on the back and I distress the edges too and you can just slip it in here and these acetate you can put pictures or whatever you want in there so just look like that that's my first um, notebook I love it guys and this one I really love this one as well and I try to go for a vintage style but I don't think it looked um, that vintage but I really love how it turned out too I use um, Prima Nature Garden Collection to do this just so pretty paper guys and same thing I wrap um, the notebook with the paper and this one I just punch along the edges here you know over here and here love this punch and over here I wrap around this spine with this piece of lace see really beautiful lace guys so delicate and I love it and it's like super light green color so it goes so well with this paper collection love how it looks and then on the front here I just put these piece of lace along the edge here too guys and I want it to sticking out like this you know it just looks so pretty I didn't want to uh, fold it back so it looks like that and over here this is the design paper I mean this little angel the fairy here it's the design paper I didn't really do anything I just wrap it around but I want to focus on these little angels so what I did guys actually I want it to look like she's like in a glass jar or something but I didn't have that shape so I just die cut this piece of acetate out again and I tinted it with some brow alcohol ink it looks so nice I love this idea a lot guys and then on the bottom here you know um what, what do I say um I pop this acetate up with some um foam adhesives that's why I cover it up with some trim and with the flower on the top there you know because they're um adhesive here so over here I just use these reset trim and some ruffle trim that I got from Annie Miss Garden Grove one as well. I love the trim Annie. It's just so beautiful guys. I'm just gonna put um Annie I mean the link to Annie's store below too, you know, so you guys can check these out. The trim is so beautiful and you can use it um for so many things. Love, love that. And I just add some pearl trim here and over here I missed I made this flower following Juliana. I love into scrap tutorial. I love these flower guys and it's so quick and easy to make and I glimmer misted these papers you know this is the paper from the paper collection as well I just glimmer misted it just to make the color um, more vibrant and I use these flower center from Star Crafters that I just got in my birthday rack yesterday I love it Sa thank you so much I use it right away it's just so pretty love love it and then over there that's a little um, stickers that say a happy hello to you and that's actually from Melissa Francis guys but I think it goes so well with these paper collection so I use it and I put um rock candy crackle paint on it so it looks like that I love how it looks and then on the top here this is a note card that from the paper collection you know that you got in a packet and I use this one I glimmer misted these and then I stamped this little bird image see um, and I think the stem is from crafty secrets and what I did I brushed perfect pearls on the image too you know so it's like shiny it looks pretty like that and I just spelled the word dream with alphabet stickers I put um, the glossy accent on each letter here you know so it's a little bit more stronger and I don't want it to come off and then over here I just add a little rosette trim 
and these little bow and I made these big bow from um, the two fabric here see I love how it looks guys and I just add the half pearl there so you know just fill up the space here and over here I just put um, these acrylic flowers along the edge here and these one the big clear one is from my stash love how it looks and this one I got from Annie Miss Garden Grove one love the color and this is from my stash as well these are stickers guys so really simple look like that so that's the cover and then inside this one I love how it looks too guys and for this one you know I use this die cut frame that I got from Steph um, Brow Baby Craftaholic Hi Steph I love these die um, the die cuts and you know I put rock candy crackle on it too guys so it looks shiny like that really love how it looks and for the frame here I glue these lace inside you know so it just fill up the space here and I also use the die cut pieces that come with these um, frame and I just glue these designer paper on you know so I can have the little angel image in the middle looks like that really love it and I can write my message on the back so the frame look like that and I just use um, these paper flower from my stash and the pearl center from Star Crafters too guys check out Star Store she's selling these gorgeous stickers like you know a lot of them for such a great price I'm gonna put the link to Star Stores um, below as well so and I just add these little trim here so that's it guys this is the notebook that I outer I really love how they turn out oops um, so I'm gonna do some more later and let me know what you think guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you back soon bye bye mm -hmm.